Texas businesses fight off fines. Elected officials from across the state are in Northern California right now pushing to reopen. They kicked off what they're calling Reopen Cal Now tonight, a three day conference in Rancho Marietta. CBS 13's Marley Ginter joins us live with their message and criticism, Marley, of the shutdown. That's right, Adrian and Tony. I talked with the co host of this event who says that there is science and medical information not getting out to the public. That's why she says this event is critical. Still, public health officials have said that such an in person conference goes against health safety guidelines. Dubbed a nonpartisan conference in person, but following health safety guidelines. By the way, for those of you who can't see it, the mask says. This mask is as useless as our governor. <laughs> Elected leaders from across California converge for Reopen Cal Now. This is the message that we're telling people. We need to open up right now, but we can do it safely. Riverside County Supervisor Jeff Hewitt says reopening couldn't come soon enough. An elected leader in Southern California where ICU capacity has plummeted to 0% for weeks on end, forcing tight restrictions to remain in place. Hewitt says it's critical things start to open back up safely. What are the impacts going to be in a year and a half when home prices tumble because nobody can afford them? And for a county, that's where we get most of our revenues. The tagline of the conference, COVID is real, but they aren't telling you the whole story. Sacramento County Supervisor Sue Frost says it brings economists and medical experts together to get information that's not getting out to the public. Uh, extraordinary medical people who have told me that they have had multiple clinical trials on some repurposed medications that are actually treating COVID, reducing hospitalizations, and, and reducing deaths, and they cannot get the media to cover it. The next step, protesting at the state capitol. I'm fighting for our way of life, and coming together and having a conversation, getting everyone at the table, is the American way of life. So again, tonight, just the beginning. This is a three-day conference lasting through the weekend, and tomorrow they are planning to protest at the Capitol.